Hello, welcome to this video where I hopefully can offer you a, a just a gentle, um, I was going to say yoga, but it's going to be more like a stretchy, breathy practice that can really help to integrate the very powerful energies that are coming in at the moment. This video is supporting a, a newsletter that I sent out. So if you are watching this later and you didn't get the newsletter, please get in touch with me and I'll more than happily send it out to you where I explain a little bit more what we're going through at the moment energetically. And you know, we can get very physical symptoms as we start to receive a lot of high vibrational energy as it comes in, because this energy then starts to, to slow, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh dear. This energy then starts to kind of slow down as it gets integrated through the more denser aspects of our energy system. Finally, kind of landing in, in the densest aspect, which is, which is this physical body. You know, for energy to become matter, of which we are, um, it has to really slow down. But having said that, we are still, even the physical body is majority energy is space. When you get down to like subatomic level, it's, we are much more space than actual solid matter. So this practice, and it can also be used if you just need to relax a little bit or calm down, but the intention behind this practice is to help to start to integrate energy. As energy comes in from the galaxy, the stars, the planets, all this amazing uh, cosmic help that we have, for it to integrate through into the physical, it comes through the endocrine system and through the central nervous system. And this is how we can really feel it. You know, it, it, we, it affects how we feel, you know, the endocrine system, the production of all our hormones and the central nervous system. When we're overstimulated, we can get hyper or lethargic or anything in between. We can be very emotional, like roller coaster rides. One minute we're really up and positive, and the next minute we're down. Um, and maybe you don't feel anything as well. It's it's not a given, but I certainly do feel things at times. And so hopefully this practice can can help you to yeah just to start to integrate. And as always, if you have any questions, by the way, just please get in touch. <laughs> so we'll start off lying down on our backs. So laying down, just allow your feet to rest wherever they feel comfortable. You may want to rest your inner thighs in, it's up to you. But we're wanting to get a sense of being able to feel the sacrum connected into the earth. So the sacrum is the triangular bone at the base of the spine that sits in the back of the pelvis. And this is a part of our physical body and it's also a part of our energy system where we can integrate a lot of powerful energies and physically it's the part it's our center of gravity so it's a point where we can physically feel balanced and energetically start to integrate and if you feel comfortable just bringing your hands into a diamond shape so having the thumbs touching and the index fingers touching and just placing that diamond shape on your low belly around your pubic bone if if you feel comfortable doing this if this isn't a part of your body that you feel comfortable touching then then don't go there just have the palms of your hands uh, facing down resting on the earth and breathing so breathing into the space between where your hands are or if they're not there your pubic bone and then the sacrum And we're starting to extend the breath a little bit. So just making your inhale a little bit longer. And making your exhale a little bit longer as well. And as you do that, allowing the shoulders to relax. Releasing any tension from the face. We're not forcing or trying here, we're just observing, intending the inhale to be a little bit longer. 
and the exhale as well. Two more breaths. From here, keep the left foot on the floor and hugging the right knee, <coughs> excuse me, in towards the chest. Keeping the shoulders relaxed and then if you want to, extending the left leg forward. If that's not appropriate for your body or you just don't want to do it, then don't. Keep the left foot on the floor. And again, breathing down feeling the physical connection of the sacrum into the earth. So we're using the physical body to reference our breath, but knowing as well that we're breathing into the energy system. Bringing the sole of the left foot up on the floor, release the right foot down, coming into a twist. So releasing the knees over to the left. For some of us, it feels nice to take the pelvis over to the right before we do that. And then extending your right arm up alongside your ear. And just getting a feel here now, maybe you want to place your hand there again if it's comfortable. Placing your left hand on your navel, on your belly button, and breathing into the space behind it. And again, if this isn't comfortable for you to touch this part of your body, don't. You know, just have your left hand relaxing and just intuitively know that you're breathing into the space behind your navel. Following the breath inside. One more. Bringing the right arm down, bringing the knees back up. Just realign your pelvis if you took it over to the right. We'll do that on the other side. Hugging the left knee in towards the chest, keeping the shoulders relaxed. You can keep your right foot on the floor or extend right leg forward, it's up to you. Breathing down into the sacrum, feeling the connection of the pelvis on the earth. One more. If your right leg was extended, bring it back up and release the left foot down as well. So a twist, knees to the right if you want to, pelvis to the left before releasing the knees down to the right. And then the left arm is extending alongside the left ear. And if you want to, your hand on your belly button as you start to breathe into the space behind it. If you don't want your hand there, then don't place it there. Focusing on the breath. Focusing on this balanced breath. For most of, a, most of us, a little bit attentive to the length of the exhale. So the breath is, is a wave of energy, this steady movement, this pulsation of energy that we call breathing.
Release the left arm down, bring the knees up. Pelvis back in alignment with the shoulders. If you took it over to the side, you can either keep your feet on the floor here or hug your knees towards your chest, but make sure that your sacrum is grounded, okay? So you're not pulling your sacrum or your low back off the floor. And if it feels nice for you, just doing some very slow circular movements around the sacrum. You may be aware of your sit bones here, maybe moving up a little bit into the lumbar vertebra. But just that, that general area of the body. So slow, right? Slow and soft and gentle. And then if you are choosing to do that, just go the other way. coming back to centre and then from here just roll over onto one side and support yourself up to seated. Coming into a comfortable seated position, uh, cross-legged if that's okay for you with your right shin in front of your left. If it isn't okay for you, something that is, I think that doesn't matter. We're going to do an, an upright twist, twisting over towards the left. So wait for the inhale, that sense of extending energy up through the crown as the torso lifts out of pelvis. And then keep that lift on the exhale, front rib cage draws in and just twisting over towards the left. So your right hand is on your left thigh and your left hand is just tucking around your back and maybe tucking into your waistband. Don't force your body around with your hand, okay? If you want to explore this pose, it's with the breath. Inhale, press the sit bones down into the earth, lengthen up through crown of head. Exhale, just gently draw the pubic bone back into the body. And just a reminder here, if you're twisting and you get a lot of gnarliness in your SI joint or your low back, then just pop your left buttocks a couple of, left buttocks, your left buttock a couple of inches behind. So the pelvis is on diagonal. So that will stop that rotational force going down into your SI joint where, you know, it doesn't like to rotate. It's not designed to rotate. The inhale, breathing down into the earth, breathing up into the sky. The exhale, the shoulders are soft, the face is relaxed. And then coming back to centre, changing over the legs. If you are in a cross-legged position, the left shin in front of the right. And again, we move into that seated twist using the breath, not kind of forcing ourselves around with our hands. So wait for the inhale, that lift and length torso out of pelvis. And then exhale over to the right. Left hand is on right thigh. Right hand is tucking around your back, hooking into your waistband maybe. Don't force your body around with your hand, okay? If you want to explore, it's with the breath. And if you'd like to, taking your right buttock a couple of inches behind, so pelvis is on diagonal. Inhale, sit bones press down, crown of head reaches up. Exhale, relaxing the shoulders, a subtle drawing of the pubic bone back into body. Not forcing your body, not pushing, not trying. But observing with the eyes closed how your body responds to the breath. The inhale is a drawing in, an opportunity for expansion. The exhale is a release, a letting go, an opportunity to soften. Coming back. If you can bear it, 
we're going to sit on our heels with the toes tucked. If, if you can bear it, all right, this, this is not for everyone. And sometimes it's agony. If it is agony, don't go there, okay? You can just sit on your heels with your toes not tucked. And if for some reason your knees aren't liking this, your hips don't like it, just come and sit in a, in a comfortable position, okay? If your toes are tucked under, you are sitting back on your heels, okay? So you, the shoulders aren't forward, you've got to sit back. And then we're going to move into shoulder shrugs. So I'll, I'll show you from behind. Arms are relaxed, soft exhale out through the mouth. Inhale into the sides of the ribs. Pause, bring the shoulders up to the ears, squeeze top tips together. And then exhale, shoulder blades down the back, the weight of the arms releasing down to the earth. Try and keep front rib cage in. Two more, inhale into the sides of the ribs. Pause, bring the shoulders up to the ears, squeeze top tips together. And then wait for your exhale to release the shoulder blades down the back, but draw the navel and the front rib cage in. One more, expanding into the sides of the ribs. Pause to bring the shoulders up and squeeze them together. Exhale, releasing the shoulder blades down the back without flaring out the front body. And then slowly, if your toes have been tucked, just coming off them. Just having a moment here before we move into neck release. So sitting on your heels with your feet flat, if you can manage that. And again, if this isn't something or your knees are starting to play up, just come into a, another comfortable position, okay? So neck release. Press down through the palm of the right hand towards the earth. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Breathing into the right upper chest, breathing into the right side of neck. Exhale, softening the face. So allowing the tension to release through that gift of letting go that the exhale is. Release your right arm down by your body. Bring your chin down towards your chest. And take three breaths up into the back of neck and base of skull. Bringing the chin up, looking ahead as we move into neck release on the left side. So pressing down through the palm of left hand towards the earth. And then inhale, this, this subtle lifting up. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder, eyes are closed. Breathing into the left upper chest, into the left side of neck. Exhaling, pressing through the palm of left hand as right ear softens to right shoulder. The face is relaxed. The breath is steady and even. Relax the left arm down towards your body, bring the chin down to chest. And again, three breaths up into the back of neck, base of skull. And 
then releasing the chin from the chest, coming to look ahead again. Coming onto all fours, moving into cat cow. So the hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees are, are underneath the hips. So just a reminder here in cat cow, if you haven't done it for a while, if you haven't done it before, keep the elbows soft and try and not jam your shoulders up towards your ears. The inhale, you've got to be willing to let go of your belly, let it hang loose. Lumbar curve is very apparent as we send the heart space forward. And then exhaling is rounding the back of the heart space up to the sky without locking out elbows. Long in the back of the neck, so you can look down towards your toes, between your legs, crown of the head, faces towards the earth. And you work with your own rhythm, okay? So the inhale, the body is responding to the breath to open up the heart. And then the exhale is a rounding through the back of the body. Close your eyes. And you get a sense that the, the breath is a wave of energy moving through your spine and that movement is what facilitates the rest of the body moving. A slow, steady breathing pattern, allowing the body to, to respond to the movement of energy of the breath rather than moving the body and then having a little breath as an afterthought. Yoga is a, an internal practice, it's an introspective practice. It's not about what is my body doing, am I doing it right, am I supposed to be looking like this or should I be doing like that? You're letting go of all of that and just allowing the breath to guide your body. And then coming back into a neutral position. So Anahata Asana isn't for everyone. I'll say that at the beginning. So especially, you know, this, this is a pretty short um, kind of stretchy, breathy practice. You may find that your body isn't up for it today. So keeping the knees and the pelvis aligned if you want to, and if you're not sure how your body is today, taking your hands out wide, and then just starting to gently, maybe soften the chest down towards the floor. You may not come all the way down, or you may find that you'd actually like to rest on your forearms, okay? And just allow the heart space to soften towards the earth as your bum heads up towards the sky. Letting go through the back of the neck if you're resting on your forearms or if there's space between your chest and the floor. If your chest is on the floor, resting your chin so you're looking forward but then close the eyes. If that's not comfortable on your neck, you can rest your forehead on the floor. Don't know if you heard me then, I think the floor was eating my mind. But... <laughs> A position that's comfortable for you, okay, that is sustainable for three breaths and the quality of the breath hasn't changed, okay, so it's slow and steady. Coming back into child's pose, so if child's pose isn't for you, you can lay on your back and hug your knees in towards your chest. If child's pose is okay for you, having the, the knees together, bringing the torso down so the palms are alongside your body um, facing up and resting your head onto the floor. So if your head doesn't rest on the floor, just bring your hands forward and make a little pillow. And if you've come into child's pose and your knees have got a lot to say about it, then come and lie on your back and hug your knees into your chest or you can keep your feet flat on the floor. A 
again the breath. Slowly rolling yourself up <clears throat> and if you've been on the floor just bring yourself back up again into a comfortable position. We're going to do four rounds, if you want to, we're going to do four rounds of the four part breath where we inhale for four, we pause for four, exhale for four and pause for four. So a very balanced, grounding, centering breath, if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, it will be a stressful, anxious, why am I doing this breath, okay? So if you're not sure and you start it and it's not for you, just forget it and come into that balanced breath, okay? And if it gets a bit forceful or grippy, again, just drop it. So we've got four rounds if you want to, to do it with me. Palms down, okay? So this is a gesture of being grounded. Close your eyes, soft exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, Pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, release. Breathing back down into that space that we connected to at the beginning. Behind the pubic bone in front of sacrum. And feeling the movement of energy on the inhale an expansion into this space, space behind navel, the rib cage, the heart space. Exhaling a sense of energetically coming back into our center and energetically rooting down into the earth. One more breath. Sealing practice by drawing space, extending the arms out, palms facing forward. Inhale, reaching up, arms up above the crown, lifting out of the pelvis, long through the sides of waist. Exhaling to draw the hands down through the midline, resting into Namaste in front of the heart space. A 
and then releasing the hands, opening up the eyes. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps. And again, if you have any questions, please do get in touch. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.